Hello readers. The book I'm going to read today is Seven Blind Mice. This silver sticker on the front tells you it is a Caldecott honor book. That's an award for the illustrations in this book. So you'll want to think about why these illustrations won the award. Ed Young is the author and illustrator of the book. He adapted the story from an old Indian fable. In this story, seven blind mice run into a huge, strange something by their pond. Together, they try to discover what that something is. What do you think it could be? Let's read to find out. Seven Blind Mice by Ed Young. One day, seven blind mice were surprised to find a strange something by their pond. What is it? They cried, and they all ran home. On Monday, Red Mouse went first to find out. It's a pillar, he said. No one believed him. Do you think it's a pillar, readers? Let's look again at the picture on page three. What do you think the something is? Let's carry on to find out. On Tuesday, Green Mouse set out. He was the second to go. It's a snake, he said. A snake? Do you think it's a snake, readers? No, said Yellow Mouse on Wednesday. It's a spear. He was the third in turn. The fourth was Purple Mouse. He went on Thursday. It's a great cliff, he said. Orange Mouse went on Friday, the fifth to go. It's a fan, he cried. I felt it move. The sixth to go was Blue Mouse. He went on Saturday and said, it's nothing but a rope. But the others didn't agree. They began to argue. A snake, a rope, a fan, a cliff. Why do you think the mice are arguing? What is the problem? Until on Sunday, White Mouse, the seventh mouse, went to the pond. When she came upon the something, she ran up one side and she ran down the other. She ran across the top and from end to end. Ah, said White Mouse, now I see. The something is as sturdy as a pillar, supple as a snake, wide as a cliff, sharp as a spear, breezy as a fan, stringy as a rope. But all together, the something is an elephant. And when the other mice ran up one side and down the other, across the something from end to end, they agreed. Now they saw too. Readers, did you guess that the something was an elephant? Think about the illustrations that you saw and that each mouse saw. How does it explain each mouse's theory of what the something was? The mouse moral, knowing in part may make a fine tale, but wisdom comes from seeing the whole. A moral readers is a kind of lesson. All fables have a moral. What does this moral mean? I'll read it again while you think about it. Knowing in part may make a fine tale, but wisdom comes from seeing the whole. 
Let's look at the illustrations one more time and more closely. Did you guess that they were made from cut paper? Also, think about this. Why do you think the author decided to use a black background and set the words in white? Remember, this author won a Caldecott honor for the illustrations in this story. So think about why these illustrations might have been worthy of an award. And let your teacher know what you think in your assignment. I'll see you next time, readers. Thanks for joining.